running, the sport of racing on foot. But how can you run faster? Last little bit, let's go! Let's go! Get it! Whether it was the idea of fresh air, scenic routes, or being one step closer to a six pack, somewhere along the line, running has grabbed you by the balls and you weirdly like it. So, how do you run faster? Well, you run, but it's how you run which is so important. In 1991, Michael Joyner came up with a formula that said we could break the sub two marathon in the perfect conditions. He breaks it down to three things, VO2 max, lactic threshold, and running economy. But I'm not gonna change the way you run, so let's not worry about that for the moment. VO2 max is the amount of oxygen you can get out of the air into your tissues when breathing at your maximum velocity. Milliliters of oxygen per kilogram per minute. If you're not active but young, you're probably likely to be in the 30s and 40s. If you are active and healthy, then you're likely to be in the 40s and 50s. Now, unless you're really serious about your running, or an elite athlete, you might not be pushing numbers much higher than 50. But there's one more factor. If you picture your VO2 max like your engine size, lactic threshold is how much access you can get to your engine, much like a red line meter on a car. With the average person only having around 60% access to their VO2 max. With the right training, you can push this up to 75, 80, 85, and even 90% of your VO2 max therefore allowing you to run at a higher speed for longer distances. So what training would do this? Introducing interval training. Now there are lots of ways to go about interval training. To improve your running speed, you'll need to run some sort of speed or tempo session every week. This helps improve your lactic threshold and your VO2 max. Depending on the distance you want to run, this will affect your training. I would class this workout as an advanced tempo training session, more for 10k and half marathon runners. But please bear in mind, Harry is looking to turn pro at the end of the season, so do not be disheartened if the pace seems crazy, you can taper it to your abilities. If you'd like me to go into more details about speed and tempo, then comment below. After warming up with at least a 10 minute easy jog, you'll be pretty much ready to start your first set. Today, Harry is running a 10, 8, 6, 4, 2 at threshold pace, with a one minute rest in between sets. Threshold pace is basically 70 to 80% of your max, so you can hold it, but it's still hard as hell. So how can you figure out what your threshold pace is? Well, Harry is a middle distance triathlete, so he runs a half marathon after swimming and cycling. He runs the half marathon in about one hour and 20 minutes. This is around a 16 kilometer pace building towards the end. 18 to 19 kilometers is his threshold pace. This is the equivalent to going from a 37 minute 10K to a 30 minute 10K pace, but he'll only hold it for 10 minutes. This is about 3K. Rest him for a minute and then starts again for another eight minutes. Rest for a minute, run for six, rest for a minute, run for four, rest for a minute, runs for two, rest for a minute, and then he'll warm down. So you'll want to run about 10% harder than you would run for your 10K or half marathon pace. If you're not into longer distance running and you want to improve your 5K pace, then you'll want to look more into speed sessions. This will result in you running multiple one minute sets at a pace higher than your 5K with one minute rest intervals in between sets. Once you feel comfortable with one minute sets, you may want to increase this to six sets of two minute intervals at a hard pace. So that's a basic idea on how to get faster. As a recap, tempo training is for 10K plus runners and speed training is for 5K runners. Obviously you can try both and see how they affect your speed. If you found this video useful, then please give the video a like or even a share. Harry and I have just got back from France as Harry was competing in the Olympic distance race for the Castle Triathlon Series. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so you never miss a moment as we continue our journey to get Harry pro status. And well, if you made it this far, I'm very sure I love you. I'd just like to take time to say thanks to Plymouth University and the Sports Scholarship Scheme for supporting this video. Thanks for watching.